This looks like it was filmed with a rotten potato. This is supposed to be the International Space Station doing a flyby yesterday. Filming the shadow of the eclipse. And like I said, it looks like it was filmed with a rotten potato. Look. <laughs> so, Eric. Oh, and actually, we have the International Space Station flying over right now. So they are actually seeing not one, but two views of the eclipse. They're able to see not just the moon passing in front of the sun, but they're also able to see the shadow of the moon passing over Earth, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, I can hardly imagine a view being better than the one we have right now, but if there is one, it's, it's yeah, probably on the space station. It's from yeah. the space station, for sure. <laughs> Wow. So, yes, they're able to take some pictures of that. Um, and that is just incredible. Just incredible. I... Uh, one, one of the things they told people to do if you're far away was to hear how nature changed. And it was yes. interesting here. We're, of course, surrounded by a lot of people just to hear <laughs> their reaction when we went into totality. It's true. The humans in nature have not gotten quieter, but louder, I would say. <laughs> but sillier, I would say. To think that reality is exactly the opposite to what can be tested and verified by all is insane. And yet that is what the general public believe based on imagery. Crazy. And then we look at what should have been an incredible historical event captured in HD from NASA. It's just tosh as if it was filmed with an old potato. Now we've had all these missions recently supposedly going to the moon. Wouldn't this have been incredible to capture this event from the moon showing the full earth with the shadow going across the earth? Filming that in HD, wouldn't that have been incredible? NASA planned it so much that their space station did a flyby. But strangely enough, none of their cameras worked properly. We get this blurry rubbish. This isn't scientific. This isn't beneficial to anyone. This is nonsense. This is mockery. The fact it's come out in such bad quality footage, the fact NASA had planned this for weeks so their space station would do a flyby, yet they didn't plan to get all their cameras synced up and made sure they were all proper, ready to capture this event in HD. It's just a charade. I've been saying it for years. A silly pantomime that's lapped up by kids and naive and the gullible. This would have been incredible to capture in HD from a space station hurtling around a ball. But of course they can't do that because the Earth's not a ball and there is no space station going around a ball. No one doubts something flies across the sky. That doesn't change the results of demonstrable reality though, does it? And then when you look at the evidence of historical events like this we've just viewed, it's just mockery. How long is this silliness going to go on for? I had some people high-fiving themselves up into a frenzy over this, thinking this was a result. This is embarrassing, lads. Just like your global theory. Should have had cameras on the moon filming this in HD. If it was all real, that's what would have happened by now. The rights could have been sold and paid for itself tenfold. And how amazing would that event have looked? But no. What do you get? This. Passing over Earth, which is absolutely incredible. I mean... It's not, my dear. It's just the usual tosh.